morning everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a day in the life i'm on a new rotation now i'm on my family medicine inpatient service different from internal medicine and inpatient service because we are we work at a community hospital it's it's a little bit different feel than the bigger academic center um and so i will take you along on a typical day with me i just finished making my oatmeal I am running late, so I need to hurry up and get to the hospital before um, before sign out, essentially, uh, from the night person. So I will catch you guys in a little bit when I get to the hospital. I park down in the parking deck and then I have to take these stairs um, up to the fourth floor so it's four flights of stairs so I always get a little morning cardio workout um, before I get in which is good today I was running late so I literally was ran up the stairs and I was huffing and puffing by the time we were doing sign out I'm actually recording I came back to the stairs to record this video because <laughs> I didn't have time so I was literally running up the stairs this morning all right so we just got done with sign out we only have seven patients on the list it has been a very slow service and now just doing some pre-rounding before I go and see the patients. All right, so just got done um, pre-rounding, looking up stuff on the patients. I'm only seeing two patients this morning. So it's just like, my brain isn't even fully on yet. I'm gonna go see my two patients um, and then right, go ahead and do their notes and stuff before we officially round with our attending. So it's kind of like any typical service, you pre-round, you make your plan, go ahead and put your orders in. Maybe you could talk to your upper level if you need to. Um, and then you present your plan on rounds. So let's go and see these people. just finished putting in some orders and writing up my notes for my patients one discharge summary one progress note soon after I sent my discharge summary my attending messaged me and told me that my patient that we were gonna discharge home who was feeling great this morning has seven episodes of diarrhea and now has belly pain so we we're probably keeping her so I had to then go back and write a progress note um, and put some other orders in for her so She's now sticking around. Um, maybe she could still go today, but I have very, um, I'm not very optimistic about that. So now we got a new admission, but it's going to our AI who's on service and then I take the next one. So I'm kind of just chilling, waiting on some action. I'm about to eat some lunch um, in the meantime. I'm doing well this month, cooking and bringing my own food. I gave up meat for Lent this season and so i'm trying out different meatless recipes so that i'm not tempted by the stuff that i see in the cafeteria or in the doctor's lounge so um i made this thai curry uh old thai butternut squash curry um in my crock pot yesterday and it turned out really nice of course i wish that the squash was chicken but um but it's still really good and that's what i'm going to be eating for lunch pretty much every day this week. Those egg noodles with the butternut squash and then kale. So these are little like butternut squash chunks. And then it's inside of, there's like, it's a little bit more watery like at the bottom. <laughs> okay, but her stomach feels okay. Mm, okay, um, 
fishy. Uh, circle back on a few things on my patients. We got one admission that got tucked in. Um, like I said before, I didn't have to do anything really for that admission. Um, there's another one that's pending that might be coming to us. So I kind of started looking up their stuff. I'm going to go talk to our case managers right now about one of my patients who um, we kind of need to get together her discharge plan. This is the uh, one who was transferred out of the ICU. Since she's been here for so long, she needs some sort of rehab or SNF, like a skilled nursing facility, to um, do more rehab, do more physical therapy before she can go home. So, But she doesn't have insurance. So I need to go talk to our case managers and kind of see where they are on the process of helping her apply for um, like Medicaid uh, or finding a charity bed or somewhere that she could go. Um, eventually as we get towards discharging her out of the hospital. Okay, just checked in and progress is being made. They um, were getting financial assistance to see her and help her with her Medicaid application. And then once the Medicaid application is pending, there are some facilities that will take, accept patients um, when they have a Medicaid pending um, status. So it's really nice to have clinical case management on your inpatient floors helping you with your discharge planning for your patients. It makes a world of difference, especially when they're hardworking and they stay on top of stuff. Hey y'all, so we just got another admission. This time I'm up, so I'm heading to the emergency room to go see them now. Just finished my workout. I only stayed for like 30 minutes because I'm starving and I need to go home and get food. So, so I'm about to head home now, um, eat and wind down and get ready for bed. I had a super productive evening after work. That is not very typical. I usually do not um, get into so much stuff after work. Um, I just go home, but um, I had a few things to do today that were left over from the weekend and I got it all done. But that's the good thing about living in a city where, you know, it's really accessible, easy to get around, things aren't too far away. Uh, because I I uh, went to Beast Supply Store, got gas, went to Walmart to pick up something and did like a quick workout. And it was all within like an hour and a half or an hour even. I'm about to head home, get some food, shower, and um, just get ready for the day tomorrow. All right, so I just got done eating, and um, in the midst of me eating dinner, I got a FaceTime call from my girlfriends from college. So we were stuck on the phone for like 30, 45 minutes being fools which is what we typically do so now i'm just gonna take a shower wash my face and at this point I just get in bed i think i just need to prep a couple things like my food and um pop gym clothes for tomorrow and stuff and then i'm just gonna hop in bed um hopefully by like 10 30 11 i am asleep and i'm up again at like six so thanks for following along with me today. I had a great day and I hope that you enjoy kind of seeing um, a little bit of the work that I do on the inpatient service. Um, I would say that today was not the most typical day in that I don't usually have so many errands to run when I get off. I usually just go to the gym and come home and I have more time to relax, maybe like even catch up on a TV show or something. But today was a little bit more jam packed. So I'm kind of just gonna shower. Um, and go to bed. But thanks for following along. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Let me know if there's something specific that you want to see. I can make sure that I get that type of content um, recorded. Um, Y'all yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your night, week, month, um, and follow along with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.